Hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. I'm trying to get my Luna Tuna on camera for those who have not seen her in a while. She's getting big enough that come over here, honey, and show yourself. There she is. There she is. Say hi. <laughs> if you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this reading as well as the link in the bio. If you would like to enter to win $200, you can do that by liking, subscribing to our YouTube channels, link below, and just comment blessing. If you would like to join a book club for personal and spiritual growth, well, you can do that by hitting the more button and following the link on over. We would love to have you. This is the Daily Tarot, Scorpio. This is a timeless message. It is whenever you are receiving it. I am switching some things around for the next month or so. I feel like things are getting really redundant. Um, it's the same old, same old every day, and I'm not about that. So, <laughs> we are going to shorten the read a bit and see what is in store for you for the day in the general, as well as money, as well as love. I have some energy already pulled out just to save time. We are going to see what it is you need to know about the next 24 hours and beyond the overall energy. Consider the unconventional Take a sideways approach and go with the flow and trust where the universe is taking you. You could be dealing with a cancer, Scorpio. Something could happen in cancer season because we do have cancer energy out here on the board. I asked Spirit what dates and times would be important for you to know generally in your life. And we have in the next one month at night. You could be having dreams. You could start having a lot of dreams, Scorpio. Um, the unseen. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that you may not be seeing. The general energy, the queen of wands, beautiful here. Getting your mojo back, uh, really feeling good about yourself. You may want to start working on your sacral, especially if you're having some obsessive thoughts. Your sacral chakra may need some uh, clearing, Scorpio. Some of you here, you're finally feeling uh, attractive again, alive again. The Queen of Wands is very motivated, uh, you know, a witchy woman or man, but as well as a good business leader, really balancing out life uh, quite beautifully. The Queen of Wands speaks to you. Scorpio, about getting your confidence back. Maybe there's something in your life that you are not feeling great about, and the divine is asking you to go with the flow and trust in the unseen like the Queen of Wands would. Uh, fire sign could be important to you. You could be a Scorpio Sag Cusper like myself. The Divine's asking you to get out more. You may want to go out and have a little fun, Scorpio. You may have a job that you have to drive an hour to and from work, and it's getting to be a little much. You may be thinking about a mini vacation like me. I'm taking my mom and my kids away Mother's Day weekend to the Poconos. We're going to a day spa for my daughter's birthday, which is today. Today is my baby girl's birthday. An inevitable end, big transformation, shedding required and dead end. A special gift given to you. Seize the opportunity. Unique gifts bring luck and success and the power to attract wealth. The Divine's letting you know that, Scorpio, you have the power to attract anything you desire into this physical reality. You're going through a shutting period right now, and uh, that is why maybe you haven't been feeling the best. You are in some situation that has an inevitable end, and that is hard to hear. It does not have to be in love. It can be in your career. It can be in other areas of your life. You will know where that applies. A lot of you know that whatever you've been doing, doing is um it's been very difficult but thank you spirit seven eight nine 
Scorpio, you are stepping up. You're at the nine. You've finished your season. Now you're waiting for your grade and you get to move on. Anytime you see a nine, think of it that way. You've ended a cycle. You've you've ended something, but it's not 100% closed out yet. Standing your ground, standing up for yourself today, you may have to do that. Um, you could feel isolated and trapped. I already felt this energy in the meditation. Like I said, some of you are having obsessive thoughts and uh, you may need to really work on your sacral. If you need some info about your sacral or you want... Uh, any assistance, you can book a uh, breakup coaching session with me. I do have 30-minute breakup coaching sessions now on my website. Um, you're welcome to do that. A air sign may be important to you today. You're about to profit, though, have some success, but standing up for yourself, asserting yourself um, today. You may find that there's something that comes up that you have to really stand your ground in or assert yourself in some way it's going to be important in the next 24 hours that you get out of that mind scorpio moving on over to your career what it is you need to know in your career the nine of wands patience and perseverance necessary in the next 24 Something may come up, Scorpio, that you're going to have to really persevere through. <clears throat> Tell me about this spirit. Some of you are a little wounded. You're, you've, you've had a hard season. You're a little beat. You're a little battered. You have lost a nail. You, your hair is all messy. You have some bumps and bruises, but you are persevering through and you will make it. You're almost at the end, my love. You're almost there. Use your voice to influence change. You may want to do public speaking, social videos, or interviews. New life, you may get a fresh start or be called to bring a new perspective to an old job. Some of you, that's what it's going to require. You're not able to leave your job right away. Um, it's not that easy. you got to pay the bills, but changing your perspective today, very important, Scorpio. Really trying to look at the glass uh, half full and not half empty. You may also want to get some kind of temporary work. Some of you take a transition job if you hate what you're doing find something that you enjoy to make money for a while you know there's some short-term thing happening you're being called to not be too attached to your material wealth um easier said than done but at this point in my life i promise you i could walk right out the door and leave it all behind if that meant i would still have my personal peace and happiness um Sometimes we can become fixated on how we look or how much money we have in the bank or how much money we don't. And um, what's really important is that you start working on your mental wellness as well as um, maybe even your physical wellness. Some of you may not be feeling good. You may have a low day where you just feel really overwhelmed with thoughts in your head. If that is happening, do a breathing exercise, say an affirmation, do something to stop those ruminating thoughts. There's a lot of improvements and a lot of change. Something could happen in the next 17 days or somewhere around the 17th of May regarding your career. It's just a message that Spirit wanted you to know there's something coming newness some of you may find out you're pregnant in the next 17 days or somebody is pregnant and aries could be important to you and regarding your money and finance tell me spirit about money and career for scorpio tell me why nine of wands please yeah you've been trying to balance things you've been robbing peter to pay paul but baby you are about to profit scorpio you should be proud of yourself here there's some ups and there's some downs and that's okay. Money comes and money goes. It is just energy. If you're having a hard time managing everything, if you're having a hard time keeping on top of your housework because you're working two jobs and raising three kids, um, take a moment, take a few hours out tonight, take a bath, do something kind for you, Scorp. 
There will be a happy ending here. Some of you will have court hearing um, in the next few days or you have a court hearing here around the 17th that is important. You may hear something about that court hearing today. You could get a message from your lawyer today. Um, there's something that could feel like a little overwhelming today involving your career or at work and uh, you're being called to change your perspective. Things really aren't that deep, but when we're in the middle of it, we get so worked up about off office politics, don't we? It can feel so heavy and so much when you're in the middle of it or when somebody's not pulling their weight or your manager's not treating you the way you feel you should be treated. It always feels so deep and so heavy. A lot of luck an accomplishment perhaps today you could find out something good involving money um, so very very good for the most part a water sign could be important to you when it comes to your money and finance moving on over to love the ten of cups scorpio okay scorpio beautiful 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 heading into a very prosperous beautiful time in your love life but <clears throat> somebody has rejection fears or wounds that are so great they are not ready willing or able to face them right now the reason the union failed to flourish somebody is dealing with rejection wounds somebody's dealing with deep wounds here they could have been uh you know dismissed and rejected as a child and it's it's sat with them for all this time they could have had in their formative uh, young adulthood, a, a somebody cheat on them or they got involved with a narcissist and it's been difficult for them to trust again. It seems to me like you're being called to have patience. It looks like you have a lot of obstacles and, and some regrets here, Scorp. Uh, you are being called to pray. There's, there's some guilt in your energy that you may need to release. It's it's, it's very common when you have a codependent relationship or you're involved with someone that rejects you because they're dealing with rejection wounds um, to really internalize that and, and take it personal. There's something about this person's beliefs as well that's changing. Ten of Cups, very beautiful. You could meet somebody today that turns into a beautiful relationship or you could possibly start thinking about working towards having a stable family life this person may finally come around there's somebody in your energy with mutual feeling some of you have just recently meant somebody others there's somebody that you may be on a break with <clears throat> somebody does not want to hurt you though scorpio they're very protective over you there's mental clarity here tell me about the person on scorpio's mind please what do they need to know me about the person with Scorpio's mind. This person may contact you to hook up tonight. Maybe you haven't seen them in a while. They're a little lustful, but there could be some secret that comes to light. There could be some gossip that you hear. This person could have heard some rumor about you or something you did over the weekend, or they could contact you, making it up, saying they heard A, B, and C just because they want to talk to you. They may make up reasons to contact you, Scorpio. Um, ultimately, this person deals with rejection wounds. You could be 36. They could. Somebody here could have light brown hair. Somebody here could have dark. Um, I mean, somebody involved could have light hair and somebody involved could have dark. Tell me about this person, please. You could possibly work with this person or they want to come in here and work together. This person could be self-employed. You may be. Your intuition telling you a lot today, Scorp. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo. A lot of intuitive things um, happening today. A lot of things going on in your subconscious mind and something being illuminated. There's definitely, for some of you, something coming to light. There's something about to be illuminated regarding a person in your life. 
you are being called to have patience why this person may be trying to deal with these these rejection wounds perhaps yeah because they're having nightmares a lot of anxiety and uh going to take some time while wow, they're heavily burdened but they are recovering they are healing and you're being asked to just take a break for a while take a break if this relationship you feel it's worth saving you're being called today to pull your energy back if you pull your energy back from this person especially if they're emotionally avoidant people that are emotionally avoidant actually studies show from what i know um of course I am just a life coach. I'm not a therapist, but I've done a lot of research. Um, and people who are emotionally avoidant actually are people pleasers. That what happened to them as a child is uh, their emotions were never validated. They were always told to sit down and shut up. I'll give you something to cry about. That kind of vibe. And so this person feels like they can't... Um, they can't make you happy so they pull away they actually feel like you're going to reject them so they pull away and get really distant they seem to be trying to recover trying to um heal here which is a very good thing you could be dealing with an air sign i see things differently now scorpio I like that you're different from the rest. I like that you are different. And I can't wait to have you in my arms again. And every single time we use this deck, I'm frustrated with myself. This person is just as frustrated as you are with their self because they don't know why they behave the way they do. They could be very lustful. They're doing it out of fear of rejection. And a lot of people think if I keep it sex-based, then um, it, I don't want risk of not being chosen. Or there, there's a lot of thought process there. Nevertheless, this person is seeing things differently now they've cut through the mental chatter they haven't been sleeping well and over the next 24 hours some of you could hear from this person now if you're dealing with a narcissist scorpio you already know you have the only choice you have is to strategically move away this is for those not dealing with a narcissistic person, but somebody who deals with rejection wounds and they're, they, they just don't feel safe to fully open their self up. You could actually have a really good day um, today with this person. For others, it's just all subconscious. It's all 5D activity. This You and this person have a lot of that. There is, there's a lot of 5D activity. So it makes it very difficult for you in the 3D because although nothing's happening in the 3D, you still feel very connected to this person. It's most likely because there's a lot of 5D things happening. Tell me about love for the next 24 hours for Scorpio. What do you want them to know, spirit? Be optimistic, baby. Tuna, you did a good girl this morning. You did a good girl. Be present and take back your power. You are giving someone control over how you feel your happiness should depend on you. Be present. You will attract more love by enjoying your life as it is be optimistic keep in mind that you create your reality you can't attract love with a negative mindset you are being called to take back your power from this person as i said the message i was receiving is the next 24 hours pull back your energy and that goes for trying not to think about them ruminate about them etc but be present and focus on your day try to stay optimistic about your love life scorpio i want what's best for my highest good i'm open to what's best for my highest good that's what i want bring it to me spirit that's what i want maybe it's not this person but at least you will be happy and you will be well and it will be a healthy relationship scorpio ultimately isn't that what you want tell me what is the last and final message we can give the babes for today please what is the last and final message we can give the babies today 
confidence. See how this all ties together? My guides are so good. You are encouraged to disconnect from the physical or material plane. Once again, as I said over here, it's important right now that you take a step back from basing all of your worth on what you have or what you don't have, Scorpio, and move to the spiritual realm. You have deep spiritual connections, which mustn't, you mustn't un ignore. You are on the brink of transformation and your divine purpose may be revealing itself, period. You are being called right now, Scorp, to try to work on your confidence, get that confidence back, disconnect from the material and, and really try connecting to your higher self and guides today. Take a step back today. Allow it to be a day of introspection, a day of, you know what, I can do this. Stand in the mirror and tell yourself, I am beautiful, I am successful, and I am capable. Because you are on the brink of a huge transformation and a lot of good things coming in. I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed Monday ever. We're going to have the best week ever, Scorpio. This week is going to be the best week of your life. Love and light.